This video will be set up and first impersonations of is Zeus RT AC66U wireless router. Okay, so before I get too far into this, I want to tell you why you want to use one of these routers or whatever router you would like to purchase instead of your ISPs. The ISP, the internet service provider that I am using, I had a ton of issues with them and ultimately they said it was my router, which in the end it was not, but they brought out their own router and set it on my network and I wasn't real cool about that and I didn't like that and just the more I thought about it, the more I didn't like it because with their router you can only log into it through the internet, not from your local intranet or from your local network at your home. The problem with that is they can see all of your devices, all your settings, and know how to log into your network. So I decided to go back to my own router. My other router was getting kind of old, you know, three or four years is old for a router, much like a laptop or many other devices. So I went ahead and purchased a new one and there'll be a link down there in the description for this router if you're interested in it. I'm gonna show you how to set this up and I'm gonna to try to set this up so that I don't have to change all my other devices on my network. And the way that you would do that is go in and record your SSID as it's currently set and then also the passcode for your network, the password for your network. There are many different ways to capture that information. So I'm not really going to go through that at this time. Just going to tell you to make sure you have that. SSID and the password. Because if you don't have those two things, then you have to go back and re-register all your devices. Which is not terribly bad, but not fun either. So, without much further ado, let's unbox this thing and get rolling. That's good, they have a phone number you can call them out if you have any issues. Uh, there's an app to set it up with. So I'll download that in just a second. Um, this is having you how to do an easy setup. So basically it's telling you to repower uh, power off your modem and if you have a battery backup for your modem, make sure the battery's pulled out or you, or you restart it, whatever. Then you power on your router and you log in and connect. So one of the things that I personally liked about this router is that it has USB available on it so I can have a, a network storage for, well, for my network. And, and it has the ability to support a VPN setup on it as well. Oh, and AI mesh. I'm trying to find it. There it is. And I, AI mesh uh, that helps send the data to it helps keep your data flowing as fast as possible Plug it in. Hmm. actually comes with a network cable too that's nice okay so go in here and scan that there we go View and Play Store. Go ahead and install that. Select Open. Accept. Set up a new router. Uh, I guess it'd be one of these. Okay. asking me to scan that QR code. Okay, connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay. 
Okay, so I was hoping to do this without downing my network so I could get it set up first and then just plug this in and remove my old uh, router, but that's not possible. So I'll have to move this over to where the other router is and do it according to their instructions. Okay, so I've unplugged my modem and restarted it. Plug the internet wire in to there, the one going from the modem to that. Plug that in. Okay, now I need to open up the app for a Zeus. This. Enable the camera to scan. Okay, so it's popped up with Wi Fi. Hit OK. Okay, uh, then you got to go to your device and get it on the network and the password is provided for you on this piece of paper here that's the default I will be changing that so it doesn't matter that you saw it okay now I can go to go to my web browser Go to router.azus.com. Uh, nothing works as it's supposed to. HTTP.com. And we'll sign in with the default username and password. And I'll blur that out, of course. Okay, now you can go in and set up your network. Of course, after you've changed that, you got to go back and find the network and reconnect to it. Okay, so now if this is all done right, all your other devices should automatically log in. So now uh, just go to a laptop, desktop, another device, and see if you're in or not. Okay, once that is set up, don't forget to go in and do your 5G network too. Uh, however you want to do it, however you want to name it, and do the PS, WPA PS key. Just change it from default to keep people from easily getting into your network. So, seemed to work fine. It went pretty smooth once I read the instructions. Yeah, I know. Read the instructions. Um, and it's all good after that. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.